ಅಂತ ನಾನು ವಿದ್ಯಾಶಂಕರ್ ಲರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ನ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟು ನಾನಿಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂಬತ್ತನೇ ತರಗತಿ ಓದ್ತಿದ್ದೀನಿ ನಾ ನಮಗೆಲ್ಲರೂ ಗೊತ್ತಿರೋ ಹಂಗೆ ವಿದ್ಯಾಶಂಕರ್ ಸರ್ರು ಯೂಟ್ಯೂಬ್ ಚಾನಲ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಮತ್ತು ಮ್ಯಾಥ್ಸ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗು ವೀಡಿಯೋಸ್ ಹಾಕ್ತಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಮ್ಯಾಥ್ಸ್ ಜಿಯೋಮೆಟ್ರಿ ಪ್ರ ಥಿಯರಮ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಹಾಕ್ತಾರೆ ಸರ್ ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಡೋ ರೀತಿ ತುಂಬ ಈಸಿ ನಮಗೆ ಮನೋರಂಜನೆ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಥರ ಬೈದೆಲ್ಲ ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಡಲ್ಲ ಸರ್ರು ತಪ್ಪು ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಹೊಡಿತಾರೆ ಹೊಡೆಯಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಅಲ್ಲ ಸರ್ರು ತುಂಬ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಡ್ತಾರೆ ತುಂಬ ಸಾಂಗ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಸಾಂಗ್ ಪ್ರಕಾರ ಎಲ್ಲ ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಡ್ತಾರೆ ಮೊನ್ನೆ ಒಂದು ವೀಡಿಯೋ ಬಿಟ್ಟಿದ್ರು ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ಸಿಂದು ಅದ್ರ ಪ್ರಕಾರ ನಾವು ನೋಡಿದ್ರೆ ಸರ್ರು ತುಂಬ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಸಾಂಗಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ಬೇಗ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಯಾವುದೇ ಒಬ್ಬ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ಆದರೂ ಅವನು ರೆಮಿಡಿಯಲ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ಆದರೂ ಅರ್ಥ ಆಗ್ಬಿಡುತ್ತೆ ಅಷ್ಟು ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಹೇಳ್ಕೊಡ್ತಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಇದರಿಂದ ನಮಗೆಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ತುಂಬ ದ ಈಸಿ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಓದೋಕ್ಕೆ ಯಾರೇ ಒಬ್ಬ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ಆದರೂ ಇದನ್ನ ನೋಡಿದ್ರೆ ತುಂಬ ಇಷ್ಟಪಡ್ತಾನೆ ಇಡೀ ದೇಶ ವಿದೇಶಗಳಲ್ಲೆಲ್ಲ ಈ ಚಾ ಚಾನಲ್ಲು ಏಳ್ಗೆ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಸಖತ್ ಫೇಮಸ್ ಆಗ್ತಿದೆ ಇದರಿಂದ ಎಲ್ಲ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ಗೂ ಯೂಸ್ ಆಗ್ತಿದೆ ಅಂತ ನಾನು ಅನ್ಕೊತೀನಿ ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳು welcome my dear students in the previous videos we have learned theorem 1 and theorem 2 of 9th standard that is if a ray stands on a straight line then sum of the adjacent angles for rama is 180 degree in the second theorem if two straight lines intersect each other then vertically opposite angles are equal in this video let us learn about what are parallel lines parallel lines are the lines which do not meet at any point even if they are produced on either side here are parallel lines here is one straight line now i am drawing another straight line that is cd here these two straight lines will never meet even if they are produced on either side therefore we call ab and cd as two parallel lines then let us know about transversal line transversal line is a straight line which intersect any two parallel lines now i will draw a transversal line that is e yeah is a transversal line which is intersecting two parallel lines ab and cd at g and h respectively therefore we call ef as a transversal line here ab parallel to cd and ef is a transversal line which intersect ab at g and cd at y now let us know about postulate postulate is a geometrical truth which can be proved by actual construction and measurement here i would like to give one example of a postulate here is two parallel lines ab and cd two parallel lines do not meet at any point even if they are produced on either side this statement can be proved but only by actual construction and measurement so therefore if we produce like this it won't meet we can prove like this which is only by construction and measurement these are called postulates now dear students see here here ab parallel to cd ef is a transversal line intersecting ab at g and cd at h here there are many corresponding angles 
let us see how many corresponding angles are there and what are the corresponding angles here let us call this one as the first parallel line and this one as the second parallel line this is the transversal line this is right side of the transversal line and this is left side of the transversal line so above first line above second line angle formed above first line angle formed above second line these two are corresponding angle angle egb and angle ghd are corresponding angles corresponding angles next is below first line below second line that is angle bgh and angle dh are corresponding angles that is angle bgh and angle dh are corresponding angles these are corresponding angles present on right side of the transversal line similarly we will get in the left side of the transversal line that is angle ega and angle ghc are also corresponding angles angle ega and angle ghc are also corresponding angles and the last corresponding angles are below first below second left side that is angle agh angle agh and angle ch are also corresponding angles here see angle ega and angle gh are corresponding angles angle agh angle ch are corresponding angles so first you must learn how to identify corresponding angles above first line above second line below first line below second line right side and left side we get corresponding angles dear students you must remember these corresponding angles are always equal it is the postulate of geometry that is if a transversal line cuts two parallel lines then corresponding angles are equal using this postulate we prove next theorem in the next video bye